Hello everybody, my name is John Lagovitz, and today I've decided that I'm going to talk about self-esteem. Basically, this, to summarize this video, it's going to revolve around, oh, how to feel good about yourself. Well, not really how to, but the benefits of feeling good about yourself. Self-confidence, mainly. Alright, when you do something and you don't really feel that good about doing it, the chances of your success decrease drastically. Now, when I say that you don't really feel good about doing it, that doesn't exactly mean that you feel unwilling to do it, but rather you don't feel good about the situation you're in, like, Oh my god, I can't do that! You know? I'm sure you get what I'm talking about. If you have that kind of thought process, then it sort of puts it in your mind, like, digs a deep hole of failure inside your mind, and it just repeats the same thing, like, I can't do that, I can't do that. And the more your mind repeats that, the more your actions begin to reflect upon that, because you begin to believe what you're, you know, thinking. Well, even more so. Because, I mean, honestly, if you didn't believe it, then you probably wouldn't be saying it in the first place, but... You know, it reflects your effort of even trying, mainly, because if you're having the thought process that you're not going to be able to do something good from the very start, then of course you're not going to do very good at it. You're going to do horribly at it if you got that kind of attitude. Hence why a major factor in doing good things or doing things well a major factor in doing that is believing in yourself. Because if you don't really believe in yourself to begin with, then yeah, you're going to fail. But if you believe in yourself, there's still a chance that you will fail. However, you'll go down... Happier? I don't know. But if you're like me, then you'll be willing to accept your defeat and be willing to learn from it, mainly. That's what I do. But of course, you won't be willing to learn to begin with unless you have a good attitude about what it is you're doing. Because that good attitude is always the key factor. You have to be positive. I mean, don't get me wrong, no one can be happy fun times all the time. There will be times when you're saddened because everyone has their ups and downs, but try to make the best out of life. I mean, if you feel like that you're better off dead, well, think it like this. At least you're alive, right? Say your self-esteem is really low, and you, oh, you feel as if you hurt everyone around you because, well, you're alive. It's mainly how you do what you do. You just feel as if you hurt everyone. That's, that's not really the case, but it might be how you feel. Not saying it is. It's just an example, man. I mean... Just, just go with the example. So yeah, if you feel like you're hurting everyone around you, well, you're really not. You're just messing things... I, I don't know. Not really messing things up per se, it's just that downtime in your life, really. I mean, everyone messes up every now and then, you can't really help it, but rather than just, um, because of your failures, you feel like you're hurting everyone and such like, rather than feeling like that, you should be happy that you have the intelligence to realize that you're hurting people from your mistakes, in which case you should have the intelligence to figure out how to get better, right? It only makes sense. Keep in mind that not everyone has that intelligence, so if you realize that you're hurting people, you might actually be pretty lucky in that, in that case, I mean, even just knowing things. However, once again, it revolves around that good attitude. I mean, you have to have a good attitude and, you know, be willing to pick yourself up again, like, no, that's not true, I'm not hurting everyone else, I can do this, I'm I'm not hurting everyone else, just gotta beat that into your head and then everything will be fine, trust me. Not literally beat it into your head, but, you know, just move on with your life, man. I mean, I know it's a lot harder, it's a lot harder to do, especially since I don't know what's your, what's your situation and such like, but you can do it. I know you can. I've seen people come back from the worst kind of stuff. I mean, some people might think that their stuff is worse than everyone else's, but, I mean, it might be true. 
But still, you still have to find that power within you to move forth, because in all honesty, I, I don't think anyone likes being saddened and, like, putting themselves down and making themselves feel like crap. So that's why they've just got to, you know, learn from their mistakes, become better than what they are, you know? Look forward to tomorrow. But you can't look forward to tomorrow unless you can have that feeling within your mind and within your heart that you can do better than what you're already doing. I don't know if this helps or not, but I really hope it does. I, um, I don't really have much more time, so I will see you in the next video of whatever it is I happen to think of making. Goodbye, and good luck.